Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lazy Gamer and we have a Minecraft video for our channel. We're actually going to be playing a custom map called Simburbia. I'm pretty sure many of you heard of it. It's basically like having SimCity in Minecraft and I've seen a little gameplay of it and it looks actually looks pretty sick. So this is where we started off. We got to read all this. Let's see. Simburbia text wall. Welcome to Simburbia City Simulator for Minecraft. The long-term girls goals... There is no ending, and it's possible to fail so bad that you can't progress. You can't progress. So it's important that you follow and read all instructions given. To begin, find the secret button. Let me know if you do. Okay, secret button's actually back back here. The hidden button. Uh, got all that. So let's get right into it, guys. Oh, I failed. I think. Did I press it? No, I I didn't. <laughs> Why can't I press it? Oh, do I right click? Oh, sh <laughs> sorry, I'm a bit of a noob to Minecraft. I haven't played in a long time. Okay, welcome. Press the button outside the town hall when you see the tree line. I right, see the tree line. Okay. Is this it? Welcome to Simburbia. Press button to start. Render distance is at least 10. Okay, let's see the edges. Uh, Okay, yeah. I could see everything, right? Uh, I see everything. I mean, it's a bit shady over there, but... You know what? Let me actually turn it up to 11 just to make sure. Is that going to lag my game up tremendously? Uh, it's loading in. Yeah, it's kind of lagging my game up a bit. But it's stabilized. It's stabilized. Okay, let's get going. Text everywhere. Read everything at the top and bottom. First. Alright, let's look at the top, or... First get a... Okay, so basically the top is basically like... What I saw I said, it's basically the current quest or thing we have to do. It says something about getting a bulldoze token. So this says, welcome to Simburbia. This whole page is where your city will be. I'll pay place. Okay. To start... To start though, you need power. Go to the main menu in the town hall and get a bulldoze token so you can make some space where the power plant will go. Okay, so basically, we, we got to get energy for our city. And uh, let me explain a little bit for you guys. So basically, these things right here, you drop the token. Let's say you want to buy a power plant. So when you get a power plant, it's actually like a little token. And you drop it in a dispenser and it builds it in the designated area. The thing is, I'm not sure if this is, yeah, this is for this area. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like for over here, 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 here. I, I got to figure that out, but I'm pretty sure it's for over here because unless this one is for here. No, this one is for this, I think. Oh, well, we'll, ha we'll figure that out as we build. Let's first thing first. Okay, let's see. We, we have teleport to main menu, sky platform, get a map. Oh, let's get a map, actually. What does that look like? Oh, wait. Okay, so this is basically the entire area where we can see our plots and uh, whatnot. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, Where do I get this uh, token? Can't go down there. I think maybe at the main menu. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this. Yeah. Okay, so this is basically where we get our buildings. I see. And right now I could get a bulldozer. 15K at 500. Wait, oh, does that, is that 500k I actually have? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, so we got a bulldoze plot. Okay, every city comes with a... You know what? You know, what? I have it. I have my opacity for the chat turned down because of multiplayer, but you know what? We need it, actually. Okay, every city comes with a plot that is already powered by a natural spring. Once you have bulldozed the plot, come back for a power plant token. Where do I get power plant? Oh, right here? I could get it right now. Save some time. Yeah. Okay, so how do I get back? Game speed. Ooh. Oh, okay. So this is actually like real um, Sims. You actually have game speed. You know, you could like stop it, go fast or super fast. All right, let's get back to where we were. <laughs> this is it? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so we got the bulldoze and power plant. They said something about... um. Build on it. Wait, where did it say that? Was it? 
I don't know, it says something like, um, I have to put it in a designated area with, like, springs, maybe? Was it what it said? Like, water? I don't know. Like, I can't drop it anywhere. Is this, what is this? Bulldoze is natural. Okay, yeah, yeah, so this is where we have to go. So this, so, okay, we drop it. We right-click and put the item in there. And then it's gonna bulldoze it. And then I guess we put the power plant and it builds. It's actually pretty cool. Okay, let's bulldoze it first so you guys see what I'm talking about. I put that in. All right. Is it work? Oh, I think it's working. Yeah. Oh, sick. Look at that. Nice. So, <laughs> even has this nice bulldoze. So, this is the actual plot where the where the um, power plant is going to be going. So, let's drop that in right now. I put it in here. What? It changed locations. Zone selection. Yeah, okay. Power plant place and the zoning selector and the appropriate plot. Okay, yeah, this is the right plot. So it builds to the right. If I'm looking this way, it builds to the right like this. Alright, which way is this? Just so we have a reference. Which way are we facing? Um, We're facing west. Okay, so when we look west, the building is going to be in front and to the right of it. Of the plot block. That's going to be helpful. And I actually heard and saw a villager up here. So I'm guessing that's like um the worker. Where is he? He's very tiny. Does he have like a special name? Oh, yeah. He's the mini electrician. All right. That's pretty cool. Let's see what this looks like. Are these like windmills? I'm not sure what they are. I think they're windmills, but they don't have the second pair of... uh. Of the, you know, this things, you know, like it, it's supposed to be like that and like that. It doesn't have the second pair of wings. I'm guessing it must be solar power. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we got that settled. And then come back to the main menu. Okay, so let's go back there. I don't know what you do with these. I wonder if you could do anything with these. Okay, um, main menu. Oh, does it show on the... Oh, yeah, it does. It does. And it shows the zone sections as well. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm starting to see something. So you see all these red dots that appeared. Those spots are um basically, how do I say this? Like they're powered by the electricity. Because this whole map is filled with those red uh, plot spots, but they're not powered. So I'm going to have to build more down the line. So anyway, let's get back here. What do I do now? Say anything? If a disaster occurs, a plot becomes unpowered. It will be abandoned. Oh, okay. I, we, we unlocked the residential. So I, I guess this is the part where we actually start doing stuff on our own, I guess. So let's get a residential for 15K. Okay, so residential plots bring people to your city. The higher the land value, the more rent they produce, and the higher your city's population. Okay, so basically, my main money source is from these residents right now. So let's go place them down. Gotta get out of here. Let's take a look at our map real quick. I wanna. Ha I also read somewhere like um, you can't have the residential areas next to industrial areas, like basically like big factories and whatnot. Where they where they work and uh, I think also commercial areas as well and the commercial areas are like fast food areas I'm guessing maybe the movies you know stuff like that so I want to have like sections on the map to where I'm, I'm gonna have everything so we got one power plant here I don't know how that affects the other plots so let's see we have this huh how do I want to do this so we got all these nice square plots that are powered. Because mm, we're going to have... And also the the commercial blocks or like the buildings and the house buildings, right, the residential ones, when you put them together, they actually upgrade as you go along. Like as you put them next to each other, it's like beneficial instead of like, uh, you know, like uh, it has a bad effect. It has a good effect. And it upgrades it to like different tiers and levels. So we, we also have to think about that. And I know I'm talking a lot about the mechanics and everything. Hopefully you guys get it as you go along with me on this journey. Um. Oh wait, what's that in the corner? 